The things us women do to keep our men interested. Jeez Louise, I swear. Oh, and speaking of men, the stupid, he leaves his cell phone again. Ah, so stupid. Let me see what's in his cell phone. My meat, Venkatesh, Rocky Kana, Guantanamo. Who the hell is Guantanamo? That's my phone ringing. What? Let me call again. Guantanamo. My phone ringing. I'm Guantanamo. I think that in Akbar's phone, he calls me Guantanamo. Why? I totally don't understand that. Why would my name be Guantanamo? In his thing when my name's Kalinda. Ah, totally crazy. I guess he must feel that I'm in prison. Me. Me. Doing the political prison. Political fitness. I'm in prison. Hmm. Hello, mommy. Oh, you will not believe what Akbar has me as in his cell phone. He has me under his Guantanamo. Yes, like I am a prison. I don't know what he's talking about, like I'm a prison. It, psh, if I was a prison, at least I would allow conjugal visions. I mean, that's more than I'm getting from him, but I'm the one that's the prison. I think I'm the prisoner. I know, mommy. I know, mommy. I've been doing the flirty girl fitness. I, I do everything, mommy, to keep him enticed. Oh, mommy, I, I understand. If we get a divorce, at least make sure I get half. I understand, mommy. I must go now. I'm going to call everyone I know and let them know what a low-life scum Akbar is. Bye-bye. Mommy, no, this is Kalinda. Or you can call me Guantanamo. Because that's what Akbar calls me in his phone, Guantanamo. Do you... I am such a lovely person. Do you think there's anything about me that's prison-like? Hmm? What do you mean I have a mean tone? I have a mean tone. I do not have a mean tone. I'm tough. But I'm no pansy. We'll tell your mama that. Bye. Hello, yes. Gentleman Kratowski, I'm coming on your show and I just need to know. It's in America, right? <laughs> a Saudi Arabian woman is filing for divorce after discovering her husband's nickname for her on his cell phone is Guantanamo. She discovered it while looking at his list of contacts while he was at work. Authorities suggest instead of filing for divorce, she should settle for substantial financial compensation from him and stay married to him. Welcome to the broadcast. You brought a little car with us. There we go. Yeah. Uh, it's not customary for you to touch me. Oh, okay. You don't want to touch the lady. She doesn't want to be touched. Well, come a little closer. Hey, I, I washed today. I, what I are you washed. Thinking, you infidel? I washed and I brushed my teeth. You cool? Fine. Yeah, still an infidel, well, whatever it is. So you, your husband nicknamed you Guantanamo on his. Cell phone. Yes, yes. My husband named me Guantanamo. Yeah. And I guess mainly I want to come here today to set the record straight. Raise your voice a little bit. I want to come here today and I want to set the record straight. Okay. And okay. what? how is setting the record straight? I am not Guantanamo. No. He is Guantanamo. He's Guantanamo. He is Guantanamo. How dare he call me Guantanamo? Yes, he's a control freak. And not only that, not only that, I live in a sexual prison every damn day. Wait, what's a sexual prison? I live in a sexual prison. You know why? Pardon me? Handcuffs? With whips, I'm assuming, right? I wish. I wish handcuffs. Come a little closer, a little closer. There you go. 
I don't get touched. In, in my country, the only man that can touch you is your husband. Okay. Do you want to Guantanamo. know the last time my husband touched me? Guantanamo? When was the last oh, time your husband either. touched you? Um, oh, go ahead, yeah. 1999. That's a while ago, yeah. That was, it ago. was at the turn of the millennium. I swear, and he wants to say that he lives in a prison. I, I'm the one that lives in a prison because do you know what it's like? Do you know what it's like to not get to come? I'm sorry? What? Do you know what it's like to not get to come? Come where? <laughs> yeah, where? <sighs> to not come anywhere. I'd, I'll take coming in the kitchen. I'll take coming on the stairs. I'll take coming on the porch. Yeah. I'll coming take coming outside. in the garage. I'll take coming anywhere. Coming on the bus? But he thinks he lives in prison? No. I'm one that lives in prison. Not at all. I even been taking flirty girl fitness. Flirty girl business? For flirty girl fitness. Is that that, like, with the pole, pole with the pole, and oh. you grind on the pole. Yeah. And you know, and I've been I'd getting like so that. good. If you you know, like uh yeah. and I've got moves right. and everything. Yeah. And he just totally Totally does nothing for him. Totally just ignores me. But I'm Guantanamo. So let's talk about that pole. So are you at, your scarf fell down. You know that, right? That's okay. I think uh, after the divorce, I'm going to move to the Western world. That's oh. a wardrobe mail function. Get Westernized. So, um, Saudi Arabian style wardrobe mail. So um, I what? might not be needing this much longer. Okay. But tell us about that pole. Yes. Yes. Great way for exercise. Yeah. Great way to try to entice the men's senses. Great way to try to keep your husband, if he's not a prude like mine, great way to try to keep your husband interested. You have to you see the lady on YouTube where the pole came loose and if she fell down and broke the table. You secure that pole really well. I saw that. And if I had been her, I would have tried to call Johnny Cochran's son and get some money from that. Yeah. Just like I'm going to sue this SOB, calling me Guantanamo. Shoot. You'll be living in prison now. You'll be living in a shack because I'm leaving for the Western world with all that money. Now, what is the substantial Ooh, financial compensation? Yeah. I'll just put it to you like this. Is he like an oil tycoon? We've got that air rep money. Okay. Yes, so um, I'll be making out like, um, I guess as you guys would say, fat cat. But you'll stay married with him, so how would that affect it? you just take, spend a lot of money on him? No, it might stay. It's going to be like, um, like what you say, mar married in name alone. In We're only going to be married in name alone. Okay, only I'm name. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. Okay. Because I want to come. <laughs> we all do. That's the story. And let's see what the TV hands are up to. Let's see what they're going to come to after this. Thank you.